Hi, I'm Mark, and today I want to talk about the Brexit troubles for musicians, but this time for ones from the other perspective. The Stuttgart punk band Trigger Cut wanted to travel to Great Britain for concerts, but problems arose that could affect many more acts from continental Europe. So the noise rock band Trigger Cut from Stuttgart had to cancel their UK tour. The band were not allowed across the border to the UK for strange reasons, according to a Facebook post from the band. The border control required a certain certificate, but no one, not even the venues, the organizers or the German customs authorities, knew about it. So Brexit bureaucracy, a post-Brexit nightmare, is as the three noise rockers continued on Facebook. The tour for the new album Suit was originally planned from April 7th to 14th, and according to the Stuttgart guys themselves, they took on a considerable amount of planning. We thought our preparations for every detail of the tour were extremely good, they wrote. The band had arranged everything with, with customs in advance and had the invitation discs, according to the Facebook post, already in hand. After all, the procedure at the border was humiliating and sad. Brexit has finally destroyed the cultural interaction between all of us, they say. And Trigger Cut guitarist Ralph uh, Scharschmidt wrote in a separate Facebook post, We were handed over like criminals to the French border police and had to leave Calais. He also regretted months of planning. 1750 kilometers drive to Calais and back to Stuttgart, costs for a rented van, expensive customs declarations and ferry tickets, all for nothing. The incident, although probably no longer an isolated case, made the music scene sit up and take notice of it. Tim Burgess, singer of the successful Britpop band The Charlatans, who had three number one albums in the UK, even spoke of a nightmare. What happened to Trigger Cut is horrifying, says Burgess, because bands from the EU faced with confusing and complex rules that mean UK tour dates may no longer be worthwhile, he said. Triggercut relied on their free permitted paid engagement, the PPE, to enter the country. But that was not enough for the British border guards, who wanted to see a certificate of sponsorship, a COS, when they confiscated the band's passports in Calais. The COS involves a lot more bureaucracy. Not only does each individual concert location have to confirm the performance, but it also needs a guarantor who stands up for the band. Uh, apparently, Trigger Cut aren't the only ones with this annoyance. Ian Smith, a veteran music agent who The Guardian spoke to, confirmed many artists are stuck at the border because government guidelines are unclear. Another problem is that individual border guards have the discretion to refuse anyone at the border and there is no legal remedy. In any case, Trigger Cut's Scharschmidt is deeply frustrated. Despite all the love for music, these bureaucratic, cost-intensive, humiliating conditions are unbearable at all. Traveling to Great Britain again for a concert tour? Well, that is out of the question for Scharschmidt at least. And it will probably be the same for other bands from the European Union. The island would thus be a little more isolated musically. Another collateral damage from Brexit. And there indeed is quite a set of rules now, in, in the case that EU musicians want to tour in the UK. First, there's the visa requirements. EU musicians may need a tier 5 temporary worker or creative worker visa to perform in the UK for up to 12 months. This visa allows musicians to enter the UK for work-related activities, including performances, and it must be obtained before traveling to the UK. However, some exemptions may apply for short-term performances. Then there is the Certificate of Sponsorship, the COS. EU musicians will require a Certificate of Sponsorship or COS from a UK employer or sponsor to apply for a Tier 5 visa. The employer or sponsor must be a UK-based entity that is licensed by the Home Office to issue COS. And then there's proof of sponsorship. EU musicians will need to provide evidence of sponsorship which may include a letter from the UK employer or sponsor confirming the engagement and the details of the performances as well as other supporting documents. 
And then there's maintenance and health care. EU musicians may need to demonstrate that they have enough money to support themselves during their stay in the UK without requiring public funds and that they have comprehensive sickness insurance or health insurance. Then there's the equipment. EU musicians may need to provide a carnet for their equipment, which is a customs document that allows temporary importations of goods into the UK without paying customs duties. And then, of course, there's the traveling with musical instruments. EU musicians can travel with their musical instruments for their own use without requiring a visa, but there may be restrictions on selling or lending the instruments while in the UK. And so all of this was not necessary before Brexit, but now after Brexit, this is absolutely necessary. They had some trouble with finding the information, obviously. Um, I have to say, I'm sorry, I, I didn't have trouble finding it. And um, maybe, I don't know who they asked, if there were some, some people from, from uh, the border, border uh, authorities in the UK that didn't know that that's quite possible the way some things happened there in the past. But it is findable. But uh, still, this is just another um, example of Brexit that makes everything more complicated. And I made several videos on the same for UK artists wanting to travel to the EU. It might be, in some places, might be easier to find what the regulations are, but it's not less bureaucratic than the other way around. And I'll see you in my next video. I'll be back.